2017 driving test changes, SAT NAV use and more independent driving in new test. The UK driving test is changing from December 2017 with the use of a SAT NAV included plus other reforms. Changes to the UK driving test will come into force from December 4th with candidates having to use a SAT NAV to find their way around the driving test route. The independent driving section of the test will double from 10 to 20 minutes, too, and maneuvers like reversing round a corner are to be replaced by real-life scenarios like bay parking. One of two vehicle safety questions will be asked during the drive as part of the reforms to the testing process, for example asking learner drivers to operate the rear heated windscreen to show that they understand the minor controls of the car. The introduction of the SAT NAV element follows a consultation by the Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency, DVSA, that found half of drivers have one in the car and that 70 percenter thought the new 2017 reforms would be a good idea. It's hoped using SAT NAVs will encourage more independent driving and teach new drivers to manage distractions. The new maneuvers in the test will allow candidates to be assessed on busier, higher risk roads rather than the low risk areas like housing estates that are currently used both for learning to drive and for taking the practical driving test itself. Transport Minister Andrew Jones said, these changes announced today will help reduce the number of people killed or injured on our roads and equip new drivers with the skills they need to use our roads safely. Ensuring the driving test is relevant in the 21st century for example, the introduction of SAT NAVs, will go a long way towards doing this. More driving test reforms on the way. These are the first phase of reforms to make the driving test more relevant to the real world. In the future we could also see learner drivers allowed to practice on motorways when accompanied by an approved instructor in a car fitted with dual controls, while autonomous car technology elements could also be introduced into the test. A voluntary electronic logbook for learners to track progress will be set up, too, the aim being to try and ensure people only take the test when they're ready, part of the government's push to raise the first-time pass rate. Research will also be done into how financial incentives might contribute to persuading learners to practice more. There will be a voluntary scheme for ADIS to publish pass rates of pupils, too, so learners can base their choice of instructor on statistics rather than word of mouth. More test slots will be made available outside of the general weekday hours and test centers will have their routes reviewed, too. DVSA Chief Executive Gareth Llewellyn added, making sure the driving test better assesses a driver's ability to drive safely and independently is part of our strategy to help you stay safe on Britain's roads. It's vital that the driving test keeps up to date with new vehicle technology and the areas where new drivers face the greatest risk once they've passed their test.